it's become more than a struggle now. Now it's a race against time. 54, I'm on the other side of life. It's the countdown. Growing up in a family of six kids, my only toy that I could claim as my own was my violin. So I became incredibly attached to my instrument. I was never without my violin. I had a violin on my back every single day of my life. I'm as hardcore New York as you can possibly get. I never really got into this business to get rich. I wanted to be popular. I wanted people to hear my music. You can't ever give up. The thing about a dream is once you let go of that dream, the dream is dead, it's over. It never appealed to me to gamble because the music business and the arts are the biggest gamble anyone will ever get into. One deal there, it's like you're rolling the dice on your life. The arts, is, it's, it's a real serious commitment that one has to really think through. I was put on this earth to play music for my fellow human beings. It's my calling. These instruments get me into doors this Dominican naturally wouldn't be walking through. It equalizes. When I'm in that environment, I feel very comfortable because I belong there. Art is that bridge. It levels the playing field, let's just put it like that. I'm like a local hero here, and it's great to be a big fish in a small pond, but I'd rather be a small fish in a bigger pond. Do I want my kids to become artists? I'm not sure yet. I would hope they would pick a profession that is less precarious. In trying to steer them away from the arts, I'd probably push them into it. What I try to instill in my children is there's beauty in this world. Simultaneously, we live in a very brutal, dark culture. Regardless of the cultural aspects, it keeps the balance. Some parts of the world, there's war and strife. Another part of the world, there's an artist in the subway spreading peace. A society without arts, that's the darkest place I could think of. What have I contributed to humanity in my lifetime? That's what I have to give. And when will I make it? That's the mystery, that's the gamble.